Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Grand Prix promos, GP promos, and sometimes they help offset the cost of entrance. Uh, we all know that Grand Prix are getting more expensive, and there is now only one person allowed to run them, Channel Fireball. Therefore, they should logically not reduce the price, right, because they have a monopoly, and that's how monopolies work. But sometimes you can offset the price by trading into the promo. So today we are going to look at the Grand Prix promos and talk about um, what to look at, which ones have gone up in price, and can you actually make a profit by trading them in. Remember, everybody gets one. Thousands of people get one, depending on the size of your Grand Prix. Th these thousands of people, or let's say a thousand people, will take it to the vendors to sell or to trade. Maybe they will put it in their binders and they just want to get rid of it. If you are a GP and you believe in one of these promos, then you can make a move on it. However, I remember Progenesis, right? That is a $5.50 promo. I remember Grizzlebrand as a $12 promo. And no one wants them. So what's the difference? And these are relatively recent ones, especially Grizzle Brand. I think Progenesis is recent as well. So if you hit on something a little more valuable, all is dust. That one used to be as cheap, used to be incredibly cheap, and now has risen in price due to both its both all copies of it being more valuable and playable in EDH and the Adrazi decks. Then you hit a lottery, right? Because it's not just one or two you're going to get, you can accumulate dozens of it. But now if you believed Grizzlebrand would have been very good to accumulate, you probably lost a ton of money. So I like it to play. I like to play because it goes to a high risk, high reward type of deal due to the fact that you can accumulate cards you can accumulate 100, maybe 200 copies of that card uh, via vendors or via the actual people, especially vendors who go to multiple GPs in that same season. They, will, they probably have so much of it that they're willing to sell it to you uh, and maybe even give you a discount. So let's talk about promos. Uh, GP promos generally don't go up that much in price. Um, Jitte is one of the best cards. The promo is a little ugly in my opinion, but still a Jitte is a Jitte and in foil, it will be foil. This is an older one. It is right now $38 and trending down. Uh, it's not something that you typically would see and wouldn't have been something you could have, you couldn't have, it, this was such a long time ago I don't think you could have predicted what it would be. Um, Jitte has always been good. Jitain will always be good, and therefore it was a good promo. So there was no, in my opinion, speculation on this card, and there was no ability for you to pick up lots of them because they already knew it was good. Goblin Guide, on the other hand, is quite interesting, right? Uh, Goblin Guide as a promo really didn't spike until recently, and then it was reprinted, and it has gone down to $37. I was surprised to see it at number two. And I was also surprised to see Jitte and Goblin Guide below 40. I assumed that there must have been some Grand Prix promo that was extremely valuable, but there is not. Now there are WPN promos. Filear is a WPN promo, I believe. There is the regionals, or I forget what they call it. It's like regions or something. And Liliana was one of those. Snap was another one. But these are the more... Uh, readily available promos, right? The Grand Prix promos, anyone can get one. They just have to register and they get one. This would have been a very good, this would have been very good to go to because if you went to it and you paid $60, let's say $70 at most, you grabbed one of these promos, you traded for a few more, you could have came out ahead quite easily in that event if this is what you expected would happen. Now, another promo that is a little surprising, there are two in, this is an older promo, I believe, and it's not something that many people have access to. Uh, when I mean that, I mean the size of the GPs were probably not as big as they are today. 
Uh, as you can see, the stamp is slightly different. It's I'm pretty sure this is an older promo because the stamp looks like the same stamp as the Jite promo and not any of the new ones. But it would have been a really good one to pick up. Um, it is trending up at $27, which is very good. Uh, GPs used to be a lot cheaper. I very, I very much regret that we have a monopoly system now. Most monopolies don't end up well. That's why the government has to like shut down monopolies, antitrust, and all that stuff. Uh, because once a uh, vendor has a monopoly, there's not much reason for them to improve. Although, of course, they'll tell you they will improve. Channel Fireball was the best, in my opinion. They ran the last GP Houston and did a fantastic job. But if there's no one at you know biting their uh, feet, it's not going to work. Okay, so this is the one I want to talk about. I saw dozens. I saw people like who did not want this promo at the event because at one time this was under a it's like a very very cheap promo i don't know exactly why people didn't want it but when it first came out it wasn't valuable uh in the actual grand prix people were selling it for nickels and pennies and that's when i realized wait a second you know i i didn't do it right so i'm gonna not lie to you and say oh well i thought that this was amazing and what I did was I went ahead and got 100 copies of this card. No, but a vendor did offer it to me so it's even worse, it's a worst case scenario where the vendor wants to get rid of it and you're like, no, I don't want it. And it turns out to be something that you do want later on because it is $26. It's quite amazing. Um, you, you're not going to find that many copies of a promo in one event outside the GP because there's just so many of them. And if you hit it, you really hit it. Now, most of them don't go up in price. All is dust is kind of a exception. And it is an exception because the, it's not because this is the better version or this is considered the best version. It's actually cheaper. It's actually, well, okay, not cheaper. It's close to the price of the non-foil versions that exist out there. Uh, the card is just very good and the card is quite wanted. I don't know. I mean, next we're going to look at Chrome Mox. This is an older promo that has not gone up in price. Uh, another thing of note is, man, these cards have not moved at all. Uh, and they have not moved in, in up or down. They've just kind of been neutral, which is very atypical for foil cards, right? Uh, foil cards are big movers. They have drastic ups and downs uh, depending on if they see playability or if they see play in the internal formats or EDH. This card is good. I mean, no one thinks Chrome Ox is bad. Just never has gone up in price. Now, this is another one that received a lot of hype, went down, and then stabilized. So, it's interesting because you can accumulate lots of them in one location but from the general history of the grand prix promos they have not done well uh, they have actually done quite terrible in terms of return on investment uh, given the time i'm not entirely sure why that is the case um you might say oh there's so many copies of the card there's so many copies of the card yes and no because so many copies being a few thousand is actually not that many considering how many boxes are printed today. So if a card is printed in standard, maybe let's say the Scarab God, if he can go up a ton in price, then his supply is not less than something like this card where the Grand Prix is such a small percentage of players, most players being casual, that not many people have these cards. Like you're not going to see it in everyone's trade binders, right? And lastly, Lotus Cobra. Uh, it's it's a good card, but you know it's a beautiful card. And I think that's why people like it. I don't in particular feel like it's a incredibly strong card, but it is a beautiful card, and that's probably where the sweet spot of these promos lie. And the fact that if it has really unique artwork, it's uh, this one is from Teresa Nielsen, who is you know who has her own fan club and she is a highly regarded artist with her particular style. I like it. I think it's great. 
and I just kind of wish the promos got better. Like, I for whatever reason, they just don't go up in price. Like, my conclusion is, we all knew the Jitte was a Jitte, and therefore it's had a forty dollar price tag. It's still thirty eight dollars. This is not considered a collector's item like Alpha or Beta would be considered, and it's not considered something that people who actually get it. I would figure that, okay, if you went to a GP and you got one of these cards, you would not sell it or trade it, but that's not what's going on. Most people immediately sell or trade it to the local, the nearest vendor they can have. And the vendors have very good, I don't really know if they have very good, but they have prices on the card. Anyway, let me know if you have a lot of GP promos or what you should think we should do with them. I like them. I just don't know why they have, um, I want... I have a gut feeling that there will be a GP promo in the future that will just hit it out the park. And I'm still waiting for that one because if you go to that GP during that season, there are hundreds of copies available for you to pick up. And I mean, you can make a lot. Uh, now, it hasn't happened yet, but I think it could in the future with the correct promo. Anyway, bye guys.